evening church and I hope you are doing well by God's unlimited grace. We can trust in the Lord at all times and as we keep trusting in the Lord, we do so because we know that He has good plans for our good future. I hope you are getting used to our online services. Thank you so much for joining with us in these uh, services from your respective homes and it's always a pleasure to get together as a church from wherever we are in the name of the Lord. Shall we look to God in prayer? Father, we thank you for this evening and Lord, especially as we observe the second day of the Passion Week, we pray, Father, that you would minister to us through songs and through the words that you have for us. Keep us, Lord, in the center of your will as even as we meditate together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We have already begun the Passion Week by observing the Palm Sunday yesterday and during the Passion Week, we recall as believers the events that led up to the death of Jesus Christ, his crucifixion and his resurrection. And we are in day two of the Passion Week or the Holy Week as some people would say. Now let us join together in singing our opening hymn, All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name, as also being displayed on your screens. Oh 
Today is Monday, day two of the Passion Week of Jesus Christ. And on this day, Jesus returned with his disciples to Jerusalem. And along the way, he cursed the fig tree because it had failed to bear fruit. It was a symbolism of saying to all the extended believers right through all generations and around the world that we must demonstrate genuine faith which is more important than religiosity because that is what is intended by him coming into this world so that we may bear spiritual fruit as an individual and also as a church. And we also see on that on the same day when Jesus arrived at the temple, he found the courts full of corrupt money changes and he overturns their tables and clears the temple. Well, we will meditate more about that when Reverend Bhaktanand ministers to us right after a time of praise and worship.
Savior Jesus Christ, who is a Savior, Redeemer, and Healer. My dear brothers and sisters, this week we are observing Passion Week, which started from 5th of April, Palm Sunday, to the Good Friday, 10th of April, 2020. I am saddened this year that we are not able to worship together for Passion Week, Good Friday, and Easter services due to the COVID-19 virus spreading all around the world. 
we ask god for forgiveness and in this time stop this virus spreading for this passion week i have selected a portion from for my meditation gospel according to mark chapter 11 verses 22 to 25 which i would like to read have faith in god jesus answered i tell you the truth if anyone says to this mountain go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that what he says will happen it will be done for him verse 24 Therefore I tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours and when you stand praying if you hold anything against anyone forgive him so that your father in heaven may forgive you your sins we see in this portion what we read in chapter 11 of gospel according to mark Jesus enters Jerusalem in a triumphal way and following the his triumphal entry into Jerusalem he cleanses the temple and on the following day he meets his disciples and during that time Peter reminds Jesus about the withered fig tree here we see the withered fig tree is relevant to nation israel which god jesus is very angry because they disobeyed god and jesus wanted them the nation israel to repent here after peter reminding about with a fig tree he he speaks the following words which i read verse 22 Jesus says have faith in God I would like to meditate on three subjects or three points in the passage which I have read one faith two prayer three forgiveness uh, verse 22 it says have faith in God yes Jesus said have faith in god jesus at many times in the time of his healing ministry or doing perform miracles he always used the word faith faith is very essential in christian way of life in hebrew chapter 11 we see without faith it impo- it is impossible to please god so we must always have faith in god faith that christ died for me rose from the grave and is coming back the second point i want to meditate is on prayer in verse 24 jesus says therefore i tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours my dear brothers and sisters prayer also is a very essential part in our life we see jesus being son of god he used to get up early in the morning which we see in gospel according to mark chapter 1 and verse 35 that he used to rise up early in the morning when it's still dark and he used to go to a solitary place and he used to pray most of the time he used to pray in the garden are near the seashore are near the mountain side so jesus prayer is example for us also to pray at every time and in all circumstances we see in the bible daniel in chapter 6 he used to pray three times a day same we see david also in psalms 55 he used to pray in the evening morning and noon we see a great bible scholar c h spurgeon saying no blessings can cease or stop if a man turns towards prayer so my dear brothers and sisters prayer is very important thing in our life and especially this time when we see corona 
virus spreading all around, it's time for us to pray for each other, for the churches and for the nation, for God's healing touch. And finally, I want to meditate on forgiveness. Forgiveness is very important in a Christian life. Without forgiveness, we cannot have the love of God and the blessings of God. Forgiveness is very essential, especially during this Passion Week. We should forgive anyone if we have been hurt. So it's time for us to ask God for forgiveness. When Jesus died on the cross, the first word he spoke on the cross was, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. When Christ forgave all of us, though we are sinners, and we also should forgive one and each other. And now, as this coronavirus is spreading, we see people are dying and this virus also is spreading. So at this time, it's for the time for the church and, and families to pray and ask God for forgiveness. We don't know, maybe He is angry with us or maybe it's a wrath of God because so many are dying. So it's time, my dear brothers and sisters, to ask God forgiveness. Until we forgive, we cannot receive God's love and His blessings. So to conclude, during this Passion Week, let me meditate and ponder on three things. One, faith. Two, prayer. And three, forgiveness. May the good Lord bless you and encourage you and come closer to Him during this Passion Week. Let's pray. Almighty God, Heavenly Gracious Father, we thank you, we love you and adore you, Master. Thank you, Lord, for the word you have given to us, Master. At this Passion Week time, Lord, let me once again have faith, prayer, and ask for forgiveness, Master, because you are God of forgiveness, Master. We ask all these things in the mighty name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me receive the benediction. The grace of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide on us forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining with us this uh, day and we continue to hope and pray that uh, as we continue to meet tomorrow, same time 6.30 p.m. on uh, day 3 of the Passion Week. Until then, God be with you and continue to take good care of yourself.